Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your October 2018 monthly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will not apply to everyone, so make sure you check out all your signs. Um, and just take out of each video what applies to you. Alright, let's get started. Beautiful ones of love and light, please bring me any messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October 2018. Okay, so your guys' um, mind is on your heart. You guys have um, really gone within and are now finding what you need to do, what it takes to follow your own heart. Um, yeah, there's somebody in your space that you have your eye on. <laughs> um this could have been a relationship that was in secret, but it is coming out. Uh, it no longer has to be in, done in the dark. Also, uh, you're facing your fears. Like I was saying, the moon card is a lot about fears, um, anxiety. You guys are making it known who you want to be with. And if you are coming into a relationship, you are no longer hiding it from everybody. Yeah, you... Uh, for some of you, you needed some time to heal. You needed some time to think things through before you moved on to this next level with somebody. Um, somebody could have captured your heart in the past and, and made it a secret. It had to be a secret about your feelings for some reason. Um, but now that they're ready to move forward, that they're ready to no longer keep you... Um, hidden from everybody, you are now taking a step back and considering uh, your options. In this time of the hanged man, you you had to heal a lot from, from this relationship. You are enlightened, though, um, to the path that you want to take. Wow. Yeah, you're closing out cycles. You are coming to the end. You are at a completion point. This cycle of the past is now done and over with. You have completed the lesson. You have learned what you needed to learn. Now it's time to let all that go, whether you're still with a person or not. It's time to let go of um, the pain and heartache and everything that went um, along with that. Um, because that part of the journey is over. Ooh, way too many. So, um, you guys took a lot of time to, uh, to work on yourselves, but it's calling for you to be just a little more patient. Um, and this relationship will go in the direction that you, you had hoped it would. Oops, the fool just flipped in there somewhere. I seen it. Oh my goodness, three of them flipped. So, um, yeah, there's a new beginning here for you because you have the world right above it. Um, this journey is is here and waiting for you to, to set foot on it. Um, you're being called to move forward and find your Ten of Cups. You already have eight of them. You just need the two of cups um, to complete to complete this card. Um, you are moving towards love, um, union, a new relationship for a lot of you with the fool here. Yeah, somebody's going to make you a love offer. Um it could be uh, not as much as what you had hoped for. You had hoped for a, a bigger offer than what is coming towards you. But right now, it's all that they that they can offer. It's all that they got. Um, it could be from an earth sign. <clears throat> but this person, um, it came out in reverse. 
but this person um, is trying to find their own stability, trying to find their own grounding, um, trying to find, uh, yeah, just a sense of stability. Uh, this person could have recently lost a job as well. So they don't have a whole lot to give. They don't have much to give, but, but they do and are capable and will give you the Ten of Cups if you allow them to... Um, to be in a relationship with them. Wow. All right. So, um, Aries, this is what your overarching energy is. This is what you have coming in for you for the month of October. The wheel is time. It's it's pushing you forward. Time always keeps moving no matter what, whether you're on the bottom or the top. Um, in time, it always comes back around. Uh, the universe is pushing this in a direction where you're going to get your wishes, your dreams, your hopes. Um, good fortune is coming your direction, Aries. Uh, in the form of love, abundance, emotion, uh, new beginnings, divide or um guided by the divine things coming to light no longer being the secret with the moon and the sun no longer being um kept in the dark uh very very positive things here for you guys aries their overarching energy that you are dealing with is the three of cups in reverse the knight of swords and the ten of pentacles they're no longer um, making you a part of a third party or you're no longer making them. Um, third parties are over with. It's just one single, you two. Um, and it will be the Ten of Cups. They're coming in very quickly to sweep you off your feet. Um, they're going to come in with the truth. And that's when you're going to have to um, decide whether or not you're going to give this person another chance. Because they really hurt you in the past. But... The Ten of Pentacles is here for you. Um, this is what they are ready to offer. Um, this is everything you had hoped for is what I heard. Um, they have set out on this spiritual journey. You were waiting for them. You were in front of them leading the path. They are now um, setting foot to it. They are wanting a new beginning with you because you guys finished out the first chapter or the this, um, this part of your journey. Uh, a lot of amazing cards here for you guys. Let's see if they have any more messages for you. Yeah, you guys are, you kind of were in a position where you were kept in the dark because um, they were afraid of what their friends and family would think. Um, they were afraid to go against what society thinks, however it applies. They are now finding the courage to just do it do whatever they want. They're going after their own heart. So are you, Aries. Um, no longer allowing outside influences to make their decisions for them. Um, even though they're a little unstable, by the end of October, they will um, be getting more um, financially set, more financially stable. But this person, um, they want to make a family with you. There's no longer any illusions surrounding this um, relationship, as well as both of you are removing outside uh choices you are choosing to wow there we go this could be a twin flame situation soulmate situation um they're no longer um you two are eliminating all other options you guys are choosing each other um this person that you're connecting with or this is you aries you are very connected to the divine very connected to source um psychic uh intuitive empathic whatever it is uh one of you is connected to the divine very strongly this relationship um you both are finding healing within each other within yourselves and this is the marrying of two souls two souls become one um not yeah so um yeah, this is blessed by Archangel Michael. Um, if you're having a hard time healing, make sure you pray to him and ask him to help you heal. Uh, and this is the yin and yang. This is the this is a soulmate connection. Um, black and white, yin and yang. Um, 
the, the power of the moon at her feet, um, abundance behind her. This is just, this is beautiful. This is a soulmate twin flame connection coming together. Pisces just had a reading as well, um, that, uh, signify them coming together into union as well because I have the sun and the moon which is a sign for me I have temperance that came out the eight of cups is that soul journey high priestess wheel of fortune the fool it's all here Aries awesome let's see what it, the romance angels have for you guys wow that one just flipped Holy cow. Any other messages for our Aries? All right. So, the very first card out and the most important worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work and it is bringing your soulmate, your twin light, flame, your life partner, how, whoever it is, they are bringing them towards you. They are working very hard behind the scenes to make your paths come back together again. And this relationship to come back into fruition. Deception. Um, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I feel, however, this is um, you guys possibly deceiving yourself. Um, talking yourself out of deserving this relationship. Believing that you don't deserve it. That you, it won't happen. That it can't happen. Um, it's time to, uh, to turn those can'ts and won'ts and don'ts into um, yes it will. Because it is coming for you. So don't deceive yourself. Don't don't talk yourself out of this beautiful relationship that is coming towards you. Um, you know who this person is. If you have not met them yet, the minute you meet them, you will know them. Um, because you have known each other in past lives. This most definitely is a, a soulmate connection here coming for you. So don't talk yourself out of it. Don't, um, don't tell yourself you don't deserve it. Uh... Because, yeah, this is this is most definitely meant from the heavens. Um, your bottom of the deck card, I didn't even see that. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, very amazing energy for our Aries for October. I've said it more than a couple times. Um, October is going to be a huge month for Twin Flames, for Soulmates. Um amazing amazing month for them it's going to be huge the portal is opening especially for november 11th whoa for november 11th um with the 11 11 portal opening i am doing a live uh feed that day so i hope you guys join me um as we will use the power of each other's energy to bring in more unions, um, to bring in more energy. So I will be posting more about that later. Your guys' advice from spirit is the spirit whisperer. As an ally, the spirit whisperer comes to you heralding miraculous and the inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your highest senses so that you can hear the wisdom and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you into it with next with. Ugh. She is committed to helping you into it, the next right action, and steers you away from trouble. The Spirit Whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing that just in time, the next correct step, which we had divine timing also. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose. When she appears, it's a sign of the inspired ideas that with continual action leads to success. That's a very good omen. The Spirit Whisperer speaks of soul connections, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. She will whisper how long, how short, how deep, and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul bargains made even before both of you were born here, and an exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to the Spirit Whisperer for the lessons and vulnerability that love brings. Yes, you heard it. Past life relationships, soul connections... It's time for you guys to listen to your inner voice, to the divine, and move forward. Pisces also had this card as their advice. Um, so, uh, like I said, big, big month for October. Um, I hope you guys uh, will join me on November 11th. Um, even if you've come into union by then or reunion, I encourage you to um, join me. 
live here on YouTube as uh, we can help use our energy to move us forward, as well as I will be sharing um, messages from Spirit on where to go after you're in um, reunion. So I hope you guys have a beautiful month of October. I'm so very excited for each and every one of you. Thank you all for joining me on my channel. I love each and every one of you. God bless.